Hey guys, today we're going to talk a little bit about the Webuild S and the new firmware update 1.96. The intro is a little bit of a sample of what I took with the Webuild S with my EOS R. We're going to dive a little bit more into it and show you some more footage of that as well. A lot of people have been waiting for this update claiming the Webuild S is the Wobble S. Not very good, a little bit wobbly, especially walking and panning. You get that little bit of wobble. But today we're going to see what we're going to get with the new firmware update and a little bit of my thoughts of, is it better? Is it better for me? Because I've put it away for a while, not really using it. Using that handheld footage to get a bit of my B-roll, it's a lot easier, no setup time, and no no wobble, no wobble. So we'll dive into this new footage. There'll be footage that's stabilized and non-stabilized. I'll show you the difference, and then we'll talk a little bit more after it. So there you go. What do you think? Leave your thoughts down in the comments. Personally, I think it ran a lot better than the older firmware updates. I actually just was always on the first uh, first firmware. After hearing all these bad things about upgrading, don't upgrade, you need a back upgrade, I just kept it on the one. Going to the 1.96 was a huge upgrade. I wasn't getting much wobble at all. It ran smoothly. I was getting better angles. Usually when I was going in earlier, you come in for a certain angle and then it'll, it'll just It'll just tilt it itself. It'll just unbalance itself. Uh, I found none of that with this new update, which was good. The motors are still great. It, it works as before in that retrospect. It carries my EOSR with the 24 to 105 pretty well. It has some issues in the point of view mode where it tips forward, especially if you zoomed all the way out. But if you're sitting on 35 or 24, it, it will it'll carry it well. But anyway. Let me know what you think. Have you updated to the new firmware? Is it better? Is it worse? Leave a comment, hit like, and consider subscribing, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. One last thing I forgot to mention is that I filmed everything on 50 frames per second in full HD. Anyway, I'll catch you guys on the next one.